Hey the world travelers. Hey there. I'm Tanya. And I'm Dave. And we are Turn It Up World. Welcome back to Las, Las Vegas! Vegas! So, continuing with our exploration here at the Aria Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip, we're heading to a really cool spot tonight called Catch. That's right, Catch Las Vegas is a contemporary Japanese sushi seafood restaurant. A really cool, apparently popular with celebrities too. They have places in New York and LA as well. Yeah, and they do have some tasty Wagyu steak if you're into that. But one thing we heard which is really cool is the entranceway is supposed to be one of the most Instagrammable Ooh. spots. I'm, I'm really excited to see that. But we have reservations we need to get to and I'm ready to start ordering some delicious food. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Oh yeah, and just one more thing. You know, the Food Network awarded Catch as one of the best restaurants in Las Vegas. Well, we'll be the judge of that. Wow, welcome to Catch Las Vegas here at Aria. Yes, this is exciting for us. A really great spot here. It's kind of this contemporary Japanese seafood place, right? Sushi, a lot of good stuff here. It's gonna be amazing. I mean, Tanya loves sushi, and so I think this is definitely gonna be your jam tonight. The ambiance, when you walk in, it really is quite fascinating. Right from the moment you walk through those front doors that says catch, there's so many different pockets, so definitely have your cameras ready because there's a lot of Instagramable spots up there for sure. Exactly, and Catch has a reputation of being a really celebrity hotspot. I mean, it's big in LA and New York, and then they <laughs> came to Vegas, and so here it is, you know, Catch in Las Vegas. I'm excited. Now it's time to check out that drink menu because I heard they have some really great things on that menu, yes. so let's check it out. So kicking things off this evening, we went with some of their signature cocktails here. This one is actually called a Dirtier Bastard. Dirtier Bastard, that's a good name. <laughs> I know, I like and it basically has bourbon, it has like fresh ginger inside, lime, and of course a lemon tea cordial. Wow. And it just has a really refreshing oh, rich aroma. And I love how it's mm. kind of served like this copper sort of mule right, cup. That's cool. It's so cute. Well, this beauty. Called the meat packing Manhattan. Meat packing. Meat packing Manhattan. Is there a slice of bacon in there? <laughs> no, right, exactly. I think it's a little bit of a maybe a lime. Oh, as well. that might be a lime a wedge in there. Of lime in there. Oh, it's really cool too. They actually bring it out with a flask. So they actually poured it in with a flask. You get to keep the flask. You get to keep the flask with your so. cocktail. I mean, it's definitely not cheap things. So I think these are eighteen dollars right. each drink. Exactly. So you can like booze it on the strip. It has rye whiskey in it. Oh it has my gosh. Rye cow. Sinar, sherry, and aperitif. So, wow, I like the sound of that. Yeah. Well, you know what? Here's to a great evening. Cheers. Absolutely. I love you. Mm. Woo! That is really, really good. I mean, you nice. definitely taste like the lemon, the ginger. It almost has like a, a seltzer sort of vibe. So it's like a spritzer, but really good. And I love they have the mint twig on the side. Right. Gorgeous garnish. Very cool. And this is actually really good too. It is it's very sweet. Yes. Right? A little syrupy in a way. So I tend not to like the uh, sweet things quite as much, but it's still good. Yeah. You would love it, I think. You would love this one. And uh, but definitely, you definitely taste it. You know, taste the uh, whiskey in there for sure. Well, that's so a good drink when you can taste the whiskey. On that, so. All right. Well, all right, so we wasted no time. Yes. I'm super excited. So this is basically their signature sushi. It's called Catch Sushi. Now, you know I'm a big fan of sushi. Yeah, you love sushi. And I know you're not a huge fan of sushi. No, I'm gonna give it a try though. But I will tell you what you might like on this Catch Sushi. Now this Catch Sushi is basically, Ooh, I it's see got something crab, like. salmon, and uh, it's nice little sort of miso honey. Right. And is of that course- a jalapeno slice yes, on top? Yes, that's a jalapeno, jalapeno slice. slice. Oh so, should we try this together? Oh yeah. Uh, we have to try this together. So of course you get your own little sauce. <laughs> I love it. You ready to do it? I'm ready. All right. I want a lot of this nice <laughs> sauce in there. Soak it up, right? Soak it up. All right, here ready? we go. Mmm. 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 <laughs> I will say this, the taste is amazing, right? Like that first bite was really good. 
really good. You really taste the jalapeno too. It's spicy. Right. Not yeah. a little cake. There's a little crunch in there. All right. And the crunch is coming from. I think it has that nice little. Like it just feels like, like a salad sort of vibe in there. Right. The salmon is really rich though. You do I have really the salmon, the salmon base. Salmon. Like really... once you kind of settles down, right. with the salmon taste. I, I didn't taste the salmon at first. At first, I was like, wow, I really like it. And I'm not a huge salmon fan. That's suddenly the salmon kicked in. Yes. And if you like salmon, you're gonna love it. Yeah. I'm just not a huge salmon right. lover. Right. And if you don't like it, just drown it in soy sauce. You're right. There, which I tried to do. <laughs> but I think if you are a fan of salmon, you like sushi. It's definitely a tasty roll. And Dave is right. The the jalapeno does give it a little bit of that extra kick. Oh, I love that. Which is really nice. And of Super. course the sauce. But this is. Right. This is spot on. So this is yeah. the catch roll. So I would say overall, that's really nice. It's got a lot of depth, dynamic, great flavors in there for sure. Now, how much was this? This was $23. Mm. So what so, do you think about that price? So definitely not cheap. But yeah. the sushi pieces are really big. It's got a lot of great flavor to that. I really like it. I think it's a great dish. I mean, for not being a sushi eater, that whole mix of flavor was really good. And of course, that nice little spicy kick from the jalapeno was great. We got here? Well, this is a signature item here at Catch, the truffle sashimi. I like the way you right. said that. Yes, and it's got yellowtail and tuna. What's really nice too is it has like a chili oil, ponzu, caviar, and black truffle. And of course, caviar has a really salty sort of texture to that. So I'm dying to see the textures and flavors in this one. It looks like there's going to be a lot of things going on in right. this dish. Unbelievable. Should we give it a shot? Okay. What do we try first? The That's yellowtail? It. You sure, yellowtail? All right, let's try the yellowtail. I like it. All right. Jump in there. Ready? Yes. Go. Cheers. I gotta wait for you to do it because I, yeah, I can't. Oh. I can't. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Now that is really good. That's nice. It's really, really light. Very right. light. Right. The yellowtail, you almost forgot about it with all the all that's going on around right. it. The truffle's very potent. Yeah, great flavor in that truffle sauce. It's like really good. Yes, the caviar gives a little bit of that salty texture to yeah. it. The scallions just really bring it on home. I thought that was really good. Yeah. It shocked me. Right. I put it in my mouth and I'm like, okay. And then I was like, whoa. Right. It was like the shuffle truffle all in my mouth. Oh. Okay. Shuffle. <laughs> shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, 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 so we try some of this tuna now. All right, let's try the tuna. I'll let right. you take that one right there. Oh, it's all the blended here. It's already blended, the good blended stuff in. in there. Yeah, okay, here we go. That's wasabi, a little green wasabi, which is a real spicy kick. Oh, I like that part. Yeah, I know you would. Here we go, ready? All right, here we go. And then we'll say which one you like better. Here we go, ready? All right, go. Mmm. I think mm. you probably like the yellowtail. I think the texture of the tuna may be a little bit more squishier. Yeah, it's a little squishy. This one's a little squishy. It's actually really good. It's not fishy at all. No. I don't think either is fishy, right? Like the salmon one, the salmon sushi, I really taste the salmon, kind of a fishiness to it. Right. Because the salmon dish, not at all. Really I think, good. I think that may have a lot to do with that truffle sauce. That truffle, truffle sauce is really is rich. Really nice sauce. That's good. Ooh, it's nice delicious. Dish. The caviar, I still got the little crunchy bits. Right. That burst of salty deliciousness. Just so you know, this is $34. $34. $34 for this dish here. And that obviously might have to do a lot with the caviar, right. truffles. Those are all kind of expensive compliments to a well, dish. That's true. And if the food is great quality and tastes great, sometimes it's worth spending the money for it. As far Absolutely. as I'm concerned, right? So. I, I think it's a wonderful yeah. thing to do for a special occasion, right. a great night out. The ambiance is great, low light. Now it is a little loud. It is loud in here. But, but it's a cool vibe. It's a very it's cool, cool vibe. vibe. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. Get to the cook stuff. I right? know, the more hot. Exactly, <laughs> crispy shrimp with spicy mayo. And I tell you, it it smells good. It smells, it does smell really spicy. Yeah, which yeah. is what we like. Yeah. And it's a good amount of shrimp here. It is, yeah, it's not too right? bad, yeah. And the service, we have our server, Joe, has been spot on. Yeah. You know, bringing out new utensils every step of the way, new chopsticks for me. Exactly, here we to go. To try the shrimp. Actually, we dive Let's in. Let's do it, let's do it. it. And the mayo is already all mixed in it with is. the spicy mayo sauce. So. Mm. Mm. 
Oh, I love it. Really, really good. The shrimp tastes so nice, really light. You know, it's not like really kind of a delicate shrimp, really good. But that spicy mayo sauce is so tasty. Just a perfect blend of kind of the sweetness and the savory and a little bit, the spice does not overwhelm you at all. Nice spiciness to it, it's really good. Yeah, I feel like it's one of those that'll build. I definitely love the shrimp. It really tastes fresh, mm, yes. and the, the crunch layer on top of that, it's like a perfect crunch. It's not too breaded right, to really true. drown out the shrimp. David's right, the spice is spot on. Delicious. I love it. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> right, got a nice little crunchiness. Mm. That's good. Ooh. Ooh, wow, so what do we have there, babe? So for the main event, you guys, we went with an herb crusted bronzino. And it's really nice, sitting with like a sort of a creamy vegetable basamati. And it has a nice little glaze, almost like a pesto glaze around the side. And I'm cool. going to compliment that with some lemon. That's not, yeah, it looks and smells really good. All right? Yeah, oh, now, wow. I think this might be right up your alley. Oh, I think so. <laughs> Should we dive Should we just dive into this? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Oh man, I love that, how it cuts. Oh, right, right there, there. it smells so good. Get some of this nice sauce in there. You gotta get the sauce, you gotta get the rice, the basamati. Oh, the skin looks nice and crunchy. Right. You ready to do this? I'm making a mess here, guys. <laughs> Hold on, here we go, here we go, ready? Right, here we go, yeah. cheers. Right off the back, I love that it was a little crunch on the skin, a really buttery. Sort of yes. creamy texture mixed with that yeah. basamati. The fish is really nice. It doesn't right. have a fishy taste right. at nice all. Nice fillet, really good. I really enjoyed it. It's really kind of creamy too. The whole the rice and everything in there. Nice creamy, creamy flavor. It's good. I absolutely think this is a dynamite fish. Yeah. The portion sizes are they're well controlled. Now this is not a lot. It looks like it could be a, a one person thing, but yeah. sharing is probably perfect. For exactly. Us. We like to share. We love to share. Yeah. Yeah. I will say I am full but not stuffed. That's true, that is true. Right? It so, was actually yeah, pretty nice. Pretty it nice. was, it really was. Yeah. So let me ask you. Sure. So what did you think of this place? What would you think? I would say I love the decor. I love the ambiance. A little on the loud side, but overall, I really enjoyed the food. The dishes were spot on delicious. Yeah, now Catch is a really nice restaurant here. It's not definitely not cheap. No. Right, but the food quality is excellent. The service is great. There's a great vibe to it. Definitely worth visiting. Yeah, so when you're in the area or planning on visit, definitely stop at Catch for a delicious meal. If you made it this far, thank you so much. We really appreciate that. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, y'all, so you get a every time we post something new and exciting. As always, thanks for joining us, World Travelers, and we look forward to seeing y'all in Las Vegas!